A silent giant has been spotted in deep space, bigger than seven football pitches, moving faster than a bullet and speed spinning rapidly than any other asteroid ever detected. Scientists say a single cosmic nudge could one day change its path. Our next story explaining why astronomers are closely monitoring this asteroid and does it really even pose any risk to our planet? You can find out in this report. Astronomers have sounded the alarm. A colossal asteroid, seven football pitches wide, is barreling through space, hurtling at 14,000 miles per hour. Located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, the asteroid 2025 MN45 is the fastest spinning large asteroid detected so far. Spotted by the newly constructed Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, this monster is stranger than anything we've tracked before. Now what this asteroid unique is its spin. This space rock sets a record for how fast it spins on its axis. It makes one rotation in less than two minutes that makes it the fastest spinning asteroid ever found. The newly discovered rock is one of 19 large fast rotating asteroids found with the new telescope in Chile. Right now, the asteroid 2025 MN45 poses no immediate danger. It sits safely in the asteroid belt, hundreds of millions of kilometers away from Earth. But experts warn gravity is a powerful force. A close pass by Jupiter or Mars, a subtle tug over decades, and an object like this can be nudged off course, redirected toward Earth's neighborhood. The discovery itself is a triumph of modern astronomy. Advanced observatories now scan the sky, night after night, mapping faint points of light and calculating their trajectories years, even centuries ahead. Early detection is everything. It buys time, time to monitor, time to prepare and to act decisively if needed. Britain facing widespread chaos as a powerful snow bomb batters the country, forcing shutdowns, cutting power, bringing daily life to a standstill. The storm is now making its presence felt well and truly across Britain. It has prompted the Met Office now to issue snow warnings across 32 counties and described the event as a rare and dangerous multi-hazard storm. It is the first major storm of the year and it's bringing a deadly combination of blizzard conditions, bitterly cold temperatures. In southwest England, the conditions have turned rather extreme. The Met Office issued a rare red wind warning for Cornwall and uh, the Isle of Sicily. It is the weather department's highest level of alert as winds approach 160 kilometers per hour. Massive waves pounded the coastal communities. One weather station recorded gusts as high as 123 kilometers per hour. Heavy snow is also causing serious disruption with up to 30 centimetres expected in parts of Wales, central England, northern regions. Yellow warnings for snow, ice and rain now stretching across much of the country. In fact, the impact on daily life has been immediate and also severe. More than 65,000 homes without power across southwest England and the Midlands, leaving families without heating as temperatures plunge. Train services have been cancelled or severely disrupted in Cornwall and Devon. With National Rail warning uh, people to avoid travel unless absolutely necessary, Birmingham Airport has suspended the use of its runway. Hundreds of schools are expected to close, including at least 250 in Scotland. While London airports have so far avoided major disruption, officials are warning conditions could worsen quickly as the storm continues. And this is not just a British crisis. 
The storm is slamming large parts of Europe with France bracing for winds up to 160 kilometers per hour. Schools are closing across the northern regions and authorities are urging residents to stay indoors and prepare for power outages. Across the continent, the extreme weather has already turned deadly. At least eight deaths have been reported. In Albania, a man's body was recovered from the floodwaters after days of heavy snow, torrential rainfall there. Germany also feeling the impact with heavy snow and strong winds disrupting transport, closing schools, forcing factory shutdowns. National rail officials there warning of major delays as thousands of workers are deployed to clear the tracks and platforms. Forecasters saying the worst may not yet be over. A Reuters report quoting official sources showing that India is set to allow Chinese firms to bid for government contracts. And this is an extension to last year's Bonhomie between the two Asian giants. After the border clash in 2020, India had restricted Chinese firms from bidding for government contracts. Ministries were banned from procuring materials from Chinese enterprises. Firms from China had to register with an Indian government com committee and obtain political and security clearances. Indian government contracts valued between $700 billion and $750 billion were virtually out of reach for Chinese firms due to those rules. The Chinese bidders saw a 27% decline in value to $1.67 billion in 2021, a year after India announced the curbs. That was according to an Observer Research Foundation report on new projects awarded in 2024. China state-owned CRRC's $216 million contract for train manufacturing was disqualified. That demonstrated the substantial impact of India's restrictions. Those restrictions led to project delays and shortage of raw materials for India's big plants. India had hoped to increase its thermal power capacity to around 307 gigawatts over the next decade. However, restrictions on Chinese power sector equipment imports hit those ambitions hard. The Reuters report hit the shares of Indian manufacturers on fears of competition from Chinese corporations for government contracts. And on Thursday, shares of equipment producer Bharat Heavy Electrics, uh, Bharat Heavy Electricals, Bharat Heavy Electricals slumped 10.5% and infrastructure company Larsen and Tubro fell 3.1%. Reuters sources saying requests from government agencies facing shortages and project delays prompted the Ministry of Finance to propose easing the restrictions. New Delhi is also seeking to revive commercial ties in an environment of reduced border tensions. In response to Vion's question on the plan, the Ministry of External Affairs declined to comment. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.